and welcome to USF 2000 USA. We're doing some oval racing here in the good old Road to Indy <laughs> USF 2000 series. Oh, says Road to Indy on the uh, on the dashboard there. I'll get there one day, guys. <laughs> nah, but uh, this should be pretty interesting. Um, I have the feeling this might be this might work pretty good as an oval for the uh, for the old little car here USF 2000 I wasn't too into uh, how the racing went before here in this series on oval One more lap. but uh, maybe this will be a little better I still feel like it will probably be hard to pass but uh, how you take the corner seems to matter quite a bit. Oh, like don't do that, for example. And uh, I'm not very good at it. Let me be clear. I haven't quite figured this out yet. I don't know how guys are getting their fast times, but uh, not like how I did it there. That's for sure. And I wanted to qualify because, like I said, I, I do think it'll still be hard to pass. So I think track position will be important. And no cautions. So if I get stuck behind a wreck and have to lift off a bunch, then I'm just automatically out of it. So that's not good. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, so we're going to qualify and hopefully be in front of any mess that happens and not be a part of anything ourselves. Fourth right now. So that could be, could have been better. 19.8. Uh, I have not hit a 19.8. In fact, that 20.024 uh, I think was my best. Was that my best I think I just hit there? on the first lap might have been so I guess as good as I could hope for I just uh, I haven't quite figured out where to get the speed here but I'm hoping I'll be able to be consistent and have a good race we'll see we had a nice bit of participation that's cool I think the fact it's a free oval might help out a little bit Get those numbers up for the road guys that don't want to buy an oval track, but still want to participate. They can show up. Kind of getting the hang of this a little bit. Seems like you want to kind of just uh, keep it low, hit the apex, and uh, looks like shifting to fourth is kind of what I found out. Oh, hey, that was good. What, what did I? What did I even do different there? <laughs> I don't even know what I did different there, but that was that was good. Later shift, maybe? I don't know, it just kind of stuck a little bit better that lap. But I have the answer for you. Hmm, turning in later, maybe. But it uh, definitely looks like fourth is the way to go. Third's a little bit. <laughs> Not quite. And uh, fifth, it bogs down too much, so. That shifting into fourth in the corner seems to be a nice way to do it. And, uh, hey, not too bad. But the number one is as usual in these oval races in the USF 2000, because, like I've said before, not usually too many people uh, that do oval regularly here. Though I have seen, uh, I think his name's Iago. I've seen his name before in oval, so... In fact, I think I've seen number two as well. So a couple of names I do recognize. Obviously, I'm not just going to run away with it. I don't even know how to get a 19.8, so. I'm going to start on the outside. I did practice running a higher line. I've noticed a concerning trend in these races where guys don't quite know how to do oval racing, it seems. And uh, they'll dive into corners as if it's a road course. That's not quite how it works in oval racing. So you got like some of the differences in uh, in the racecraft between road and oval racing that kind of mix here, and you get guys doing things you don't quite expect, and that can cause some crashes sometimes. So that uh, that's something to watch out for for sure. Actually, you know what? I wanted to lower this a bit. 
case I do need to start using brakes, I use a tiny, tiny bit. Maybe get it rotating a little bit better. You're on the outside Not sure how much of a difference that will make, closed. but that's what I wanted to do with it. I didn't do it for qualifying. I don't think it mattered. I don't think it mattered at all. But who knows? Maybe it'll be tighter in uh, in the arrow. If we get any arrow push, might need to use a little bit of brake. And hopefully, we don't get any huge mega wrecks that we have to navigate during the no cautions. I'd be happy just to finish this thing and maybe get a top five. I'd probably, I'd probably lose I rating if I finished fifth. However, but that's not what matters. I'm just trying to get a solid finish here. I don't care what the I rating says about it. 15 Everyone's minutes. graded up pretty, uh, pretty quick. That's cool. Let's get this thing going. Time to race, and we're not doing a certain amount of laps, but a certain amount of time. Car number zero seven in the outside column. Might be interesting to see what they do with this series going forward. Because they've got so many alternatives for open wheel racing. I'm wondering if maybe we'll see this car turn into more of an oval road, like true road to Indy kind of thing. So we have so many open wheel options for road racing. I need to find a way to get this series more participation. And I could see them moving this to a more oval focused schedule. So people can get open wheel experience on oval before Indy. Actually jumping right into Indy. We'll see. I could see them doing that. But there might be reasons I, I don't know about why that won't happen. <laughs> I much prefer this car on road, but there are admittedly a lot of options for open wheel racing. And I might one day, you know, buy the F4 or the F3. Try that out. Get ready. Going green. I think I want to start in second. I think it's going to be too short. Okay, car is be ready. Gear. All right, going fine. Flag, green flag. Fifteen minutes left. Ooh, wow! The arrow push is so much worse than I thought it was going to be. Wow! I think that was arrow push and not just cold tires. Oh my God! Wow! That is a real thing. Is that the, that must be the arrow push. Car inside. I have to watch out for this guy below pushing up into me. I'm really glad I put those brakes back then, because I do think we're going to need them. I'm not doing so well so far. It's keeping it fourth. That's interesting. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Fourth gear. Clear. Inside. That Clear. guy is a. That was a clown move, bro. <laughs> Inside. He just absolutely cut our nose off, and he was gonna wreck both of us if I didn't lift off there. So, that was. Wow, I'm terrible. <laughs> that was not very cool of him to do. Front has just done a yeah, I can't figure this out. I'm having trouble with this. At least I didn't get wrecked. By the lumberjack chopping us up like wood. Just gotta get used to how this drives uh, with the extra tightness. I uh, clearly was not ready for how it was going to drive. So now that I've uh, now that I've actually got it out of uh, too wide, I can kind of focus on how this is driving. Get a little bit better at it, hopefully. 
that was the problem. I was, I was stuck side by side, and it was hard to learn what the car was needing to do while I was focused on running my line and not getting chopped to death. So now that I can actually focus on how it's driving, I can learn how to be a bit quicker. I think my assumption that passing is going to be hard is very true. So unfortunately, just like about every other oval race with these cars, passing is going to be a very difficult task. Using that tiny bit of brake is helping it get rotated. That's good. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Throw in a little hard and hard there. Ooh, he had to turn the wheel hard. Hard. And speaking of hard, had to turn the wheel a lot to. Uh, I think the turn he's hitting the apron might open the door for us. Not quite. Scare him. You've just done a 20.1. It's protecting the bottom. It looks like. Get this done. Got it done. Cool. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. It was a bit of a struggle. I was able to get that pass. We gotta keep it though. See if the draft brings them right back to us. Seems like that wider entry does help out a lot. But you can't uh, miss the apex either, so it's kind of it's kind of tricky. You gotta start out wide, then turn the wheel hard, and try to get it down. Oh, my internet's bad again. Oh my god, it's... I was doing this, uh, I did a sea open race at Martinsville, and it was giving me trouble. I'm in a new location. I didn't end up uploading that race because it was not good. Go figure. Martinsville on iRacing, racing, not good. But, uh, I don't want to see that red on the top right. Thankfully didn't. Go high. Okay. What is that? We're gonna lose the spot because of it though. So I had to dodge it. Keep high. Stay high the car. You're not clear! You fing clown. Jesus Christ. You gotta stop chopping me, man. Ridiculous. He obviously didn't learn it from the first time. He's gonna wreck both of us. Well, that was it's ridiculous. Doing that, he's saying we're either both wrecking or you're backing off, and that's so unnecessarily aggressive, so dangerous. Disrespectful. Nothing good about that. I already passed him once, cleanly, and then he wants to drive like that. It's uncalled for. Outside. This lap car needs to back off. What is he racing for? That's, that's what you should have done the first time. I don't know why you bothered, but okay. <laughs> now we gotta pass this guy again. Door 
a stock car, I might consider giving him a bumper for being the way he was, but can't really do that in this car. Seven and a half minutes. Don't want to lose to this guy now. All right, Colton, you're halfway home. He's made a friend. Quite in the mood for that kind of nonsense. Throw that though. Try driving in a little bit harder and lower. Seemed to work okay there. Doesn't quite get me the run off, but I think uh, having the draft might help. Balance that off a little bit. I gotta switch to last lap to kind of start comparing uh, what's working and what's not. It's the apron. I didn't have a good corner either, though. I'm liking that lower entry. Yeah, it's working much better. That light was at 20.1. Maybe I could pressure him into the wall, too. I might feel so bad about that. Hit the apron there, though. Again, not quite as bad that time, but not good. It's frustrating. Okay, Colton, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Well, had to keep down low in case it bounced off of it bad. Cuts down on me. I wasn't there, but I'm not really planning on racing him kindly if he's not going to race me kindly. He clearly just doesn't care if he gets wrecked. You've just done a 20.6. Or about anyone else, so. He's losing it though. He's all off his marks. You can see we're clearly faster. I just gotta find a way by him. That last lap was at 20.1. Guarding the bottom line. He's a problem. Outside. Stay low. Still there, hold your line. See if he finds a way to wreck me. Push now. Stay Catch low. Through the car on the high side. Hold me really tight to the outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear, go high. You're back in fourth position. He might have been scared by that car stop down low. I think that was actually a lead lap car too, was it? Maybe not. Hopefully we can pull away. I know I'm much faster than he is. I don't know what spot we were in. That might have been a lead lap car. Yeah, look how much faster we are now that we're not stuck in his 
dirty air and dirty tactics. Look at that. Uh, that's why qualifying is important. And I guess why not slowing down as much for wrecking cars is important, I, I guess, because that's why he passed us the second time. It wasted all of that all of that time to move forward. We're like gaining a tenth every... At least we did the past couple of laps. Man, that's that hurts. It's good to know that we're we're quick. Almost put a second on him now, but uh, makes you think about what would have uh, happened if he didn't get around us again. Could have been working on third place right now. So we are catching them. Not very fast, but we are catching them. As this thing gets lighter, with less fuel, you can turn it a little bit better. That lap time was 20.1. Starting to feel pretty good. Don't know if we're going to have time to catch this guy, though. Yeah, only a minute left. I don't know about that. That equals about uh, five laps, probably. No, not that. Probably about three. Yeah, we aren't catching them nearly fast enough. Driving in a little harder work there. I'm gonna try everything I can. He'll still run off if I do that too much. Your last lap time was at twenty point two. Much left to give and not much uh, race to go. White flag today blue. But all I wanted was a top five. Looks like we're gonna be able to pull that off. Just done at twenty point two. Barring any unforeseen circumstances here. Now I'll be fourth, right where we started. But we had to work hard to get there, get back there. It was a really bad start for me. As I learned how to deal with the arrow. And he wants to throw a tantrum. Cry about it. I did nothing to you that you didn't do to me. So, fourth. Started fourth. I'm okay with that, though, because we lost a ton of spots at the start and had to kind of claw our way back. So, let's see what happened. It didn't seem like there were too many wrecks. Guy wants to pull up next to me like I raced him wrong. Guys getting into each other early on. Wow, two guys into the wall. One guy got it worse than the other though, because it looks like the other guy's heading on. Oof, that's dangerous. It's down there on the bottom. Finally gets off the track. That's <laughs> pretty close. In the wall again. Almost looks like that car's broken, maybe. Got some damage already. And then we just got some burnouts by the winner. I'm curious, I'm just gonna look back. At uh, racing here, I fall back a whole ton at the start.
because it's just so much tighter than I'm expecting. And so I'm, I'm trying to adjust, but I'm on the outside, so I can't really do anything about it. Can't really learn how to get it figured out. But once I do, I guess if we didn't fall back as bad as I thought we did. I lost a couple of spots, that's it. And we're stuck behind uh, good old Lumberjack. It braces us incredibly tight. Like, look at that. He's in my lane. I just, I don't see why you gotta fight that hard for fifth. And risk ruining both of our races. I don't know. If we get by him... And then the only reason he passes me again is because of the guy that crashes, which is actually... I didn't really fully understand this when I first saw it, but that was fourth place car getting hit by the lap car. That's frustrating. There's no reason for the lap car to turn in that hard there. And so we are good and check up, and I have to kind of catch it a little bit. And uh, he is able to avoid checking up as hard, and so he steals the spot from us. I fight on the outside, and then look what he does. Look at this. I have the run on the outside. He's lucky that I didn't wreck both of us. Usually when wheels touch in these cars, that's death. We're very lucky. And he did that himself. He's in my lane. He drifts over into my lane. So that's the first time he does it. This will just be race review, I guess. That's what I'll call this. I, I just, I'm curious. Because, he, remember, he's the one who pulls alongside me upset at the end. Just, I don't know what's going on in that guy's brain, but... So, we have to back off, so we lose momentum. We have to catch back up to him. We're stuck behind him, stuck in his arrow. We have to work on him. He had to lift off hard into that corner, and then he enters poorly, and then... Like, what is this line? He's, like, getting sideways on entry. I'm just taking my normal line. And then he's cutting in front of me, being defensive. So he chops me again. Takes off my nose, pretty much. Like, what are you doing? Look at how hard he turns the wheel in order to get his car to do that. So what he does is, like, he overdrives entry, and then took correct it and not let me on the inside he hit like stabs the brakes and pulls the wheel hard left or something and then just all the way down to the bottom regardless I was if I was there or not and again I have to hit the brakes so that way I don't run into him so that kills our momentum yet again and then believe it or not I'm faster than him it doesn't even take me three laps to get back to him And finally, I'm able to get it done, but that's 35 laps into the race now. And so even though I think we're faster than even this guy, or not fast enough to make up all the time that we wasted. So that's frustrating, but still a nice finish. It's fine. Uh, fourth place, we were able to finish where we started, despite falling back a little bit. Learned some things. Uh, learned about how much arrow affected the car. And uh, got to beat... Mr. Lumberjack. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I know I haven't had a race in a little while. Moved, like I mentioned before, moved stations. <laughs> Work stations here and uh, had a couple of races I wanted to upload. Couldn't do it. I won a race at ARCA and then accidentally deleted it <laughs> at Daytona. And I'm not doing another Daytona race because super speedways are evil. So uh, I'm not going to do another one of those, unfortunately. But we also had a seat open at Martinsville. I got dumped from third place on the second green-white checkered, and I was just complaining the whole race because I was having internet issues the whole time. And that wasn't very fun. It was mostly me sitting in the back. So, at least I have something to upload, and hopefully you enjoyed it. But uh, enough rambling about that. I'll uh, hopefully see you again soon uh, with some more iRacing. 
Have a good one.